Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Go the updates. Really excited for today's beer. Uh, so I just got back from um, going out to get the uh, Bourbon County. So it's Black Friday on the uh, day I'm recording this. I think I'll post it the next day. Um, so um, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about stuff, about this beer specifically, not about like going out and getting Bourbon County. So if you just want to review, you might want to fast forward a little bit. But um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, if you don't know, I love maple syrup and I love coffee. So like, I'm really into what this beer potentially could offer. Um, it, you know, to the point where like when I was a, a kid, I would help my great grandfather collect uh, maple sap and boil it. He built a sugar shack and like we would make maple syrup. So like, it's just definitely something like in my family where you know we love maple, like real maple syrup, and you know never use the fake stuff. And um, you know, not to get on my soapbox again, but like I like the new variants that they try. Some are huge hits, some are fine, and some are you know between those two things. But um, this one having coffee in it makes me really excited. And then anything the maple brings is just an added bonus as far as I'm concerned. Um, what's really cool, I'm gonna show you something else uh, again before I do this review. So, um, well, let me talk about the beer. I guess that makes more sense first. So again, it's Bourbon County and it's uh, brand, I'm sorry, Bourbon County brand, uh, special number four stout. And it's called special number four because it's supposed to like invoke um, being at a diner and where the menu is so big, you just order by the number because there's so many things. And they picked four because it has four extra ingredients. The base is not the same in this one. It's actually an oatmeal stout specifically. Um, then you get two kinds of coffee. You get uh, coffee beans and you get cold brew. And I love both, I, I love hot coffee and I love making cold brew. So like I'm all in for coffee both ways. And then the maple syrup that I mentioned before. Um, notes of mocha, roasted nuts, sweet maple, and a touch of blueberry. Uh, says to develop it, or that it will develop in the bottle for two years. This one is 13.3% ABV. It's in collaboration with friends made with bourbon barrel aged maple syrup from Bissell Maple Farm and coffee from Intelligentsia. Uh, Intelligentsia is who they usually use uh, their, you know, they usually use their coffee for their coffee variants. So I had seen that, and this is where I'm gonna show you something else. I had seen that they had made this and I'm like, I need to get a bottle again because I love maple syrup so much. Just regular maple syrup I love. But if you ever had uh, bourbon barrel aged maple syrup, it takes it to another level, like which is hard because again, how much I love regular maple syrup, the fact that it can elevate maple syrup. So what this is, is they, you know, again, Goose Island and these guys partnered up together, is they took the used Bourbon County barrels and put maple syrup in them. <laughs> how amazing is that? Uh, so I was lucky enough to get a bottle of it. Uh, ingredients, grade A, dark color, robust taste, taste aged in single use bourbon barrel and then a bourbon county stout barrel um and it actually has two percent alcohol in it <laughs> um yeah i mean it's just it's super rad and i'm so glad i was able to get uh, a bottle of it uh, as you can see i haven't opened it yet uh, but i'm super excited uh, to to uh, use that um waffles French toast, pancakes is my order of preference <laughs> for um, things to put maple syrup on. Um, maybe I'll get some like vanilla ice cream and do that. But anyway, yeah, super excited for this one. Let's get into it. Proper glassware, courtesy of Mike from NerdSense. Make sure you check out NerdSense as always. Um, it is like 10 o'clock in the morning. I figured being a coffee stout with maple, it was okay to drink this now. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going to slowly drink. I'm going to finish this, uh, off camera, uh, cap it, finish it later. But yeah, I was just really excited to get home. Uh, it's Friday. I'm a big Mandalorian fan. So I wanted to sip on this when I watched the new episode and there's a little insight into the world of no hype beer reviews. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely a dark looking beer. It looks like bourbon County. There's a little bit of brown in there, but it, it's, it's pretty pitch black. Um, given the adjuncts that the head is staying better. Um, I recently... Uh, reviewed, re-reviewed um, their Midnight Orange, and that one, uh, after two years, and the adjuncts, uh, you know, the head went away so fast, I mean, much faster than this. This one is sticking to the side of the glass, so it looks a little bit taller than it really is, but in the center, there's still a film, I, I shouldn't call it a film, of that head. It, it's a light mocha color, 
The head is uh, somewhere between what I would say khaki and a uh, dark khaki to mocha. So somewhere between those two. But yeah, it definitely looks within the, the Bourbon County family. Beautiful legs sticking to the side. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. The lacing's going away relatively quickly. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It looks like Bourbon County is the short version. Let's get into the aroma. You get a lot of coffee. Yeah. So it was nice. And again, I don't really, I'm not going to talk about the uh, Bourbon County hunting of this morning. But I went to the first place um, before they opened, and there was only other one other car there. So I'm like, you know what? We'll get some coffee. So I had uh, some just Dunkin', Do Dunkin Donuts coffee. And you get that, but then it's sweeter. So you definitely get that kind of, I mean, I'm not getting the cold brew yet, and it's such a distinctly different aroma than hot brewed coffee. This is hot brewed coffee with an extra level of sweetness. I had it black, but like if you put some sugar in it, it'd kind of be like at that level of, of coffee with sweetness. The next thing I get fighting through the coffee is a little bit of vanilla from the barrel, which is very pleasant. It's one of the things I like about uh, bourbon barrel aged maple syrup is you get some of that vanilla, which is wonderful. I, I do get some sweetness. I, I, I Beyond just sugary sweetness, I don't know if, I, if it's bourbon or maple syrup. I would think a lot of the maple taste uh, uh, will go away because those sugars are just being fermented. If I was doing this blind, I wouldn't say it's maple syrup. No, I'd probably, I'd probably attribute it to the, to the bourbon. It is a nice caramel note as well. That coffee's still there. It's not as much of a punch in the face now that I'm used to it. I am able to get some of the other stuff that's going on. But, like, you ha like, and if you buy this, you better like coffee, right? But, like, just know going in, like, this is, this is coffee, and you really got to keep going at it to maybe get some of the other stuff. I love the aroma of coffee, but what, what I'm smelling now, much more pleasant. Not, I shouldn't say pleasant, but much more enjoyable because it's more. There's more things to pull out and to enjoy. You almost like, um, maybe it's just the coffee things make me think of donuts, but like fresh baked, just regular ones with like some uh, sugar on it. Lovely aroma. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. So like the aroma, you get that coffee up front, then you get some sweetness. I shouldn't even say some sweetness, you get a lot of sweetness. Then you're getting some of that caramel, some of that vanilla, the bourbon specifically, right before the finish, like right before the liquid is gone, it's all been swallowed. I do get a kiss of that maple, which again, I'm not super surprised by because I'm sure a lot of it gets fermented you know, it's like when uh, I've had honey in beer, and you, you, you might sometimes get a little lingering honey, but it just ends up getting fermented as a sugar. This one has a little bit of a kiss. So if you're coming into this thinking it's gonna be equal parts coffee and maple, you'll be disappointed. Um, but it does have that nice kiss at the end, like, oh yeah, don't forget, there is some maple in here. That aroma's killer. And it's interesting too, the, um, yeah, it's a nice sip. It's just a nice sip. The body is different. It's, you get that like close to syrup, syrupy that you can get in Bourbon County, but there is a little bit more heft, a little bit more. And again, I, I try to do these thinking, um, I'm going in blind. If I didn't know they added oats, would I be able to pick up on it? I think the body is different enough. It's not radically different. It, it's it's not, I'm not going to lie to you, it's not like a radically different body, but there is a little bit more like thickness to it, chewy thickness, not just like that approaching syrupy thing. They're saying a, a touch of blueberry. I'm getting more cherry is how I would have described, not in an affected way. I know you say that in a stout review. Um, I, I, again, if I was if I hadn't read that, I don't think I would have said blueberry. I think I would have said a, a nice kiss of cherry as well. And that coffee throughout, it's just it's so pleasant. 
because it does, it does have some of the rounded edges of a cold brew. Because, like, in a good way, hot coffee can be harsh, you know, and, and then in a good way, cold brew can be very rounded. So you do kind of get, you know, the, the, the like I said, the punch in the face of coffee, but you also get this, like, nice, well-rounded coffee in it. I don't know how many people, how many breweries, when they make a coffee beer, do more than one kind of coffee addition. Um, it does add a nice level of complexity to that coffee note. It's not one note. And coffee can't, I mean, when you drink coffee, I mean, it's, you can, you know, it, it's hot. That doesn't count. But, like, excuse me, you might get some some chocolate notes, that roastiness. I mean, there are, you know, things for sure, but it, it, it can taste also just like coffee. Whereas this, it, it, it's not just coffee. There's a couple different elements. Uh, almost a little bit of a nuttiness thing. What else are they saying? Mocha. I, I guess because of the chocolate from the base, sure. Roasted nut, yeah, I do get some nuttiness. That kiss, they say sweet maple, I do get that nice kiss of maple. And again, they're saying a touch of blueberry, I'm saying a touch of cherry. You know, pretty pretty close to their description as well. I, I think this is killer. I, and again, I came in as, I mean, I love Bourbon County, clearly. I'm, I'm even wearing the shirt, right? Because <laughs> I had to wear it when I went out. Um, yeah, I love Bourbon County, I love coffee, I love maple syrup. This does not disappoint. Again, unless you think it's going to be some huge maple bomb. Um, you know, and potentially, you know, if they had then aged it in bourbon barrels that had held maple syrup, you know, it probably would keep some more of the maple flavor specifically. But I think this is killer. I'm, I'm glad I, I grabbed this. Um, have you guys had this one before? What do you think about it? Do you like coffee uh, uh, in your stouts? Do you think the maple should be more prominent? I don't know how you would do that, except how I said I think you could do it. But let me know anything, everything. Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Best part of doing these beer reviews. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out uh, Bissell, uh, I almost said Bissell Brothers, Bissell Maple Farms. Um, and uh, check out me on Instagram and on Tap. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.